It was another great week of D-League basketball as teams are fighting for the playoff spots and the recent additions of former NBA players are ramping up the intensity on the court. Now, although there were many players that, well, grabbed my attention, it was Jarrell Eddy, Dwight Bikes, and Nate Walters who made an immediate impact to their teams last week. Jarrell Eddy of the Austin Spurs has just returned from a Gatorade call-up from the Atlanta Hawks. Now, the Hawks may not have felt that Eddie was the right fit, but this did not deter him from ripping it up from deep last week, earning the Player of the Week award after leading the Spurs to two victories and clinching a playoff spot. Now, Eddie averaged 26 points to go along with six and a half rebounds. Now, the 6'7 wing went for 12 of 19 from behind the arc last week. Now, Eddie proved to all that he took his experience with the Hawks as a positive, and he continues to ride his confidence with his energy and play. Dwight Bikes of OKC is one of the great success stories of development and success for the D-League. Now, the 6'3 guard out of Marquette played with the Raptors last year and at one time earned a D-League contract from their national tryout. Now, Bikes has returned from Spain and has been a catalyst for the Blue in his seven games. He has immediately helped his team gel together, putting the Blue back in the playoff picture, which includes his 2-to-1 assist-to-turnover ratio, his long-range success, and his aggressive defense. Nate Walters of the Grand Rapids Drive has returned from the NBA after being released from the Bucks and the Pelicans this year. Now, he has found his rhythm as a quarterback with two outstanding games last week with 22 points on Sunday and a win over Erie and a near triple-double and a win over Maine with 20 points, 9 boards, and 16 dimes. Now, Walters, who was drafted for his versatility, playmaking, toughness, and his outside shooting prowess, well, has been slightly inconsistent from deep. Walters, who averaged 38% from behind the arc his last two years at South Dakota State, well, should find his form soon and become more of a threat than ever before. However, he still is proving that he can make a difference on the floor with and without the ball. Now, the playoff race is heating up, so check out all the games and more on NBADLeague.com.